What's going on guys? Ryan O'Toole back here again giving you guys another review. Today I'm going to be reviewing the movie that's a third in a trilogy that kind of has people going, okay, sometimes the third movies in trilogies suck ass. And that movie is Inferno. Directed by Ron Howard and starring some good actors. Tom Hanks, Felicity Jones, Ben Foster, Omar Sy, and Irfan Khan. In Inferno, Robert Langdon, played by Tom Hanks, wakes up in a hospital and he has severe amnesia. He can't remember anything that's happened to him in 48 hours. And there he meets Felicity Jones' character, who tells him he's been shot in the back and some things are happening to him. Some people are looking for him. So he goes on this search hunt with Felicity Jones to find these specific objects that are linked to Dante's Inferno. And Tom Hanks has to find them to save the world from going extinct. Now going into this movie, I didn't know anything about it. The only thing I did know, that this is the third in a book trilogy that Ron Howard did. The other two movies were Da Vinci Code and Angels and Demons. I didn't see those movies. I heard they were pretty bad. And so I saw the trailer for this movie and I was like, what the hell is going on? I mean... Can someone explain to me what this even is? And so I pretty much knew if you don't know anything about the other two movies, you're going to be so lost. And I totally was, guys. I had no idea what the hell was going on with this movie. Everything about it did not work for me. Just the acting, the direction, the screenplay. It was jumbled all over the place. And I left with my brain exploded in confusion. So let me talk about the things I liked about it first. There were only two performances in this movie, in my opinion, that I thought was good. The first one is Tom Hanks. What else can I say? Tom Hanks is great. He's great in every movie he's in. In this movie, he's trying to have good chemistry with all the actors in it. And I understand this movie is so messed up and Tom Hanks... For his entire career, if he's in a bad movie, he tries his 100% best. And Tom Hanks does it. The other character I thought was pretty good too was Irfan Khan. He has a lot of great moments in this movie. And he actually has a lot of funny moments too. And he's a pretty entertaining presence on screen. I also really like the score in this movie by Hans Zimmer, who I had no idea did the music. And it's pretty intense at times, especially in the cat and mouse sequences. And it was pretty well incorporated with the tone of the film. The great works we know of Hans Zimmer, of course, are the Dark Knight trilogy, Inception, Interstellar. And does this score compare to those? Absolutely not. I'm just saying the score really fit the tone for this movie. Like I said in the beginning, guys, I had a really hard time following this movie. And... That's the reason why I have a lot of negatives. This movie is so messed up. The other performances in the movie were so boring and dry. Felicity Jones' character, I have no idea why she's even involved with Tom Hanks. Nothing about her character made any sense. Nothing was explained. And she just runs all over the place, like given... Nothing. She's a great actress, guys. She's beautiful to look at. I can't wait to see her in Rogue One. But in this movie, she could have been completely taken out. The thing that brings this movie so down is the story. It is so jumbled. In my opinion, this movie felt like three movies. One, it felt like a born movie. The overall plot, Tom Hanks having amnesia, having this government agency follow him around and all that. The plot feels very similar to the Bourne movies. Another thing is this movie felt like a boring Greek mythology history movie. You have all these things involving past gods and stuff, Dante's Peak. It's just so confusing. And this also felt like a political thriller with these government agencies finding this one object they're scrambling all over the place in a cat and mouse game. It's just so not well organized. There's also some really bad plot twists in this movie, which I won't reveal to you guys, spoiler free. I was just like, really? 
No effort was put into that at all. Which leads perfectly to the terrible direction from Ron Howard. I must say, I like Ron Howard. I liked a couple of his movies, Apollo 13 and Rush. I think they're pretty good. But In the Heart of the Sea was also kind of meh. I'm just so confused as to why Ron Howard decided to do a third movie. I mean, I felt like no effort was put into this. The screenplay was terrible. And just, I'm just like, why? In the end, this movie was awful. It didn't do anything remarkable to me. Tom Hanks and Irfan Khan, I felt, were the only ones trying in this movie. Everything else is just a complete mess. Don't waste your money seeing this movie, guys. It's not worth it. On my rating scale, I'm going to give Inferno a 1 out of 5 stars. Definitely one of the worst films I've seen this year. Alright guys, that was my review for Inferno. Have you guys seen this movie yet? Are you going to go see it? That's the question. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Thank you guys as always for watching this review. And if you guys liked it, give it a thumbs up. And be sure to subscribe today for more content. All my social media links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!